learned that a man has died following last night's house fire on Quincy Street in Springfield. And fire investigators want to get the word out on what caused it. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Lokri joins us live in studio after getting answers. Reagan, what did you find out? Abby, Springfield Fire Captain Drew Bamonte tells us a space heater is to blame for last night's fatal fire. A tragedy he says the department sees far too often in the winter months. Fire raced through a house on Quincy Street in Springfield late Thursday night. First responders found a 91-year-old man in the kitchen suffering from serious injuries. He was taken to Bay State Medical Center where he later died. Following an investigation, the Springfield Fire Department determined the fire began in the first floor bedroom with a space heater at the foot of the bed. It wasn't in a proper location, it wasn't plugged directly into the wall. And there was a lot of clutter in the, in the room. Springfield Fire Captain Drew Bamonte adds, if you are using a space heater, make sure it's approved by the underwriter's laboratory and never leave it unattended. Follow the manufacturer's instructions. Make sure it's on a clean, smooth, stable surface. Bamonte tells Western Mass News, this is the first space heater related fire they've seen in Springfield so far this season, but that number could unfortunately rise. The time of year with the winter and drop in temperatures, people have to do what they have to do to stay warm. According to the state fire marshal's office, residential heating fires have been declining in Massachusetts, but remain a serious issue. More than 4,600 home heating fires have been reported over the past five winters, causing six deaths, 40 civilian injuries, 62 firefighter injuries, and more than $30 million in damages. Captain Pamonte also advises homeowners to make sure they have working smoke detectors on every floor of their home, Practice an evacuation plan, and if you have any problems with your space heater, don't hesitate to call 911. Reporting live in studio, Reagan Lokri for Western Mass News.